holy mackerel, Hobie stuff is expensive. To get the equivalent of a milk crate, you got to spend 139 bucks on one of their age crates. And if you want to add stuff to the side, it's another 30 bucks for their tackle bin. I'm going to show you how to do that for a buck this week on Kayak Hack. Welcome back! If you're new to the channel, we cover kayak modifications, spin, and fly fishing. So poke that subscribe button so you don't miss anything. Now, let's get on with it. You can get one of these for a buck from the dollar store. Don't believe it? Here's the receipt. Okay, a buck seven with tax, but give me some slack on that. So now, the problem is, you can't just bolt this right to the side because of the opening. It's got to have room to deal with the lid as it comes out. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to mount this to this melt crate while leaving room for a shelf on top so this does not interfere with the opening and closing. The mount has to be large enough to allow that top to open and still have some room between the top and the melt crate. So this is just a chunk of 2x4 I cut up, and now I'm going to show you how we're going to mount that to the toolbox and the milk crate. In the video I did where we mounted the Scotty base to the milk crate, I put this nail plate in there to make sure that this would not come loose. And that's because uh, a rod holder or an accessory is going to put a lot of stress on this mount and cause it to bend, and we don't want it to pull through the plastic. Well, mounting a tackle box like this, which just gets open and closed, isn't going to be that problem. So the first step is going to be to pick where to mount this on, and then I can just bolt it right on with a screw and a couple washers. Prop this up on both ends with the same size 2x4, and now I'm going to get it all nice and lined up where I want it, in my case, centered on this side of the milk crate. I've got my Scotty mount right up here. Then it's a simple matter of drilling two holes now that I've got the wood block on it's time to make a quick check before I do any drilling in the toolbox even though it's just a buck. So I put it on here I check that the hinges are above the level of the wood block and then it opens up and that the top does not interfere with the side of the milk crate because I'm going to want to have my shelf going up and down here and use this for some additional loose storage. Now that I've verified that, I can attach this uh, toolbox to the wood block. So turn the milk crate over so the wood block is pointing up and then align the toolbox centered on the milk crate. And since I'm OCD, I always take a little bit extra time to do this. Now it's just a matter of drilling some pilot holes in here, and we should be good to go. Since these are going in on an angle, I'm using self-tapping screws. That way I can just drill the hole through the plastic, and then uh, have the self-tapping screw go in at the angle that I can get to. Okay, I've got it screwed on. I can still latch it and I can open the toolbox and note that there is still plenty of room between the edge of the milk crate and the top of the toolbox. One small point on doing the screws into the side, if you're not comfortable just using washers like I did, you can get one of these small nail plates and use that to attach to the inside to provide a more consistent and firmer attachment of the plastic in the toolbox to the piece of wood. So now I can use this toolbox to put anything I want in there and it's easy to reach from the seat to be able to dig in here and I can also shut it and latch it if I need to. And that's kind of handy if you're going into an area where you think you might flip. And while we're on the subject of the shelf, I didn't mention it before, but you can get one of these cheap two or three dollar bike nets and use that across the top to protect the items you have inside. 
So I can just go right across the top and now everything in here is reasonably protected against falling out. Of course, the best way to do that would be to cut up another milk crate and use the bottom to go on here, but that means you're investing three milk crates into this creation instead of the two I have right here. So here's the first option for a sidecar, if you will, for a buck, and it's going to look pretty good. It's going to balance out against my Scotty mount on the other side. Stay tuned, and I'll have another option for this in a future video. Suggestions on how to do this better? Throw them down below in the comments. We'd all appreciate it. Thanks a lot.